Alright guys, welcome to your 10th UDK tutorial and now that we know the basics of brushes, we can go ahead and start putting our skills to use and build a very simple level. So in this tutorial, I'm only probably going to be creating a floor for our player or character to run around on, but throughout these tutorials I'm going to be creating a full, uh, I don't, actually don't know, maybe a house, maybe a map maybe some kind of building but anyways in this tutorial I just want to get a floor a foundation built and we're gonna be testing it out so the very first thing we want to do is we want to change the size and shape of this red builder brush because well it's gonna be a kinda of weird looking floor if it's just a square so go ahead and right click this red builder brush and we bring up the options so X is pretty much how wide do you want it and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 1024 again look at your grid and make sure whatever numbers you have are divisible by whatever grid size so I'm gonna make sure all my numbers are divisible by 8 that way it snaps nicely to the grid whenever I'm trying to line things up so 1024 is divisible by 8 let's think of a uh, length for it um 1280 whoa hey oh 1280 and for Z, Z is the height of the floor. Now we really could give it something like 2, but we want to add some depth to it. So give it something like 32. And now whenever we hit build, we see the basic shape. So that's a pretty good size, I think. Good enough for now. So now if we go ahead and we want to add mass, go ahead and hit CSG add. And now you can see we have some mass on the floor. Pretty cool, huh? So actually, believe it or not, this is a very basic level we could play this if we wanted to so in order to test out your geometry actually let me do this first anytime you're making a map and you want to test it out go ahead and right click anywhere on the map and hit play from here and whenever you do it's going to pretty much throw your character in your map and first of all you guys are probably saying this what the heck Bucky how the heck did I make you know a radar and a gun and a character with ammo and health I mean I thought we just made a floor I didn't think I was that good yet well by default before you, you know start making any characters and you just want to test something out the UDK automatically gives you a test character basically to run around on so don't think that we created this by accident we didn't so with that being said you're probably gonna notice one thing first of all if we shoot we can see that our floor is indeed there but I mean the lighting doesn't really resemble what we were seeing right here and the reason behind that is because whenever we're working in the UDK by default we get unlit mode and that's pretty much the designers view it lights up everything with a consistent light but it isn't what the gamer would see the gamer would see this a lit mode just like that so as you can see whenever we enter lit mode or game mode everything kinda turns to black so in order to get in order to uh, you know have the character play the level successfully we need to add a light to this map now I know I'm not gonna cover lights in this tutorial but for now just follow along with me go ahead and hold down L on your keyboard and click with your left mouse and once you do you get a light on your map now go ahead and with your move tool aka the translation mode go ahead and pull that light up and as you can see it automatically switches to lit mode again lit mode is kind of what the character would see unlit mode is what the designer sees it just makes it easier to work with but go ahead and switch to lit mode and as you can see this is what the character would see so now the character has a nice light however if we go ahead and hit right click play from here check it out we're getting a bunch of error messages that say lighting needs to be rebuilt and paths need to be rebuilt and it didn't light up our level the reason behind that is because just like anytime you make an update you need to update geometry aka build geometry anytime you add new lights you need to build all so go ahead and hit build all and as you can see a bunch of little boxes are gonna pop open and our lights are gonna start to build it's basically gonna put our level together for us and we have a bunch of these uh, errors right now but don't worry about those right now and now that everything is built our light our geometry go ahead and right click it and hit play from here and now check it out how awesome is that by the way uh, for, for the Unreal Tournament, if you never played the game, how you move around is the WASD, just like that. How you can turn is with your mouse, and how you can shoot is either clicking the left button or the right mouse button. 
So check it out. We have an awesome, amazing level. We can go ahead and, you know, shoot the ground. I guess that might be kind of fun. Or if we hold the right mouse button, we can go ahead and build a spaceship. Pretty cool, huh? So with that being said, that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Again, the couple things I want to mention is in order to change the shape for your brush, go ahead and right click it and you can choose the shape. Choose something big enough where we can work with later on. If you want to copy my numbers, they're 1024, 1280, and 32. In order to add a light, go ahead and hold L on your keyboard and hit left click with the mouse. Again, I know I didn't cover lights in this tutorial, but I just want to give us the light so we can test out our map. And aside from that, make sure you hit build all and that's the list little button up here. And that's going to put everything together for you. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and save my map. Go ahead and press file, save as, and I actually want to make a new folder. So new folder, and I'm just going to name this like uh, YouTube. And then go ahead and save it as like uh, DM... Uh, gotta think of a good name. <laughs> this is obviously really stressful for me, so I was naming my Bucky's map. And by the way, this DM, make sure whatever you save your map is, make sure it's DM minus because this means deathmatch mode, and that's what gives you your character and your radar, and it allows you to test out the map a whole lot easier than if you didn't have it. So go ahead and save it. Make sure before your map name you have the prefix DM, and that's gonna give you that character and gun. So for now, that's all I want to cover in this tutorial. Hopefully, you have also created a very simple floor. And now that you have, we're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.